Hey, what is up guys? This is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use masking technique in Adobe Premiere Pro to hide certain things from your frame. Here you can see there is a microphone, there is a light. If I want, I can hide those things just like that in Adobe Premiere Pro using masking technique and today I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Welcome here in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have already shot the clip that you have already seen. I will put a link in the description below of this exact same clip so that you can download the clip and you can follow along with me. So this is the clip, sample clip. I am just clicking and dragging the clip on my project panel. And then I am just clicking and dragging it on my timeline to make a new timeline, right? So if I play it back, then you will see when I am starting the recording, I am just placing the microphone and light there and after completing the recording here you can see i have removed the microphone and the light so that i get a clean plate so this is the part that we'll be needing to mask out the video frame right so first let's cut from here make a trim here i'm just pressing q on my keyboard to make a trim and then go to the part where i have removed the microphone and light right now you have to make a duplicate copy of this video so i'm just pressing alt on my keyboard and then i'm just duplicating this clip here so this is again the same clip but another version right but we will use the second clip which we have duplicated as a freeze frame just like a steel image right to make a freeze frame you need to right click here and then you have to press here on this option add frame hold click here then you will see there is two part of this video one is the moving part and another one is the freeze part right we're going to delete the moving part and then we are expanding the freeze part just like that and now if i play it back you will see this video is not playing back because we have put a still image on top of this video right and we're going to mask out this portion and this portion so that we get a clean video frame to mask the video what you need you need to go to effects control panel and from here you'll see opacity and there you'll see two preset for masking one is circular max and other one is rectangle mask we are not going to use these two we are going to make our own mask using the bezier tool right so what you have to do first you need to click here on this toggle track output so that we can see the bottom track and then select the top track and then go to effects control panel and select this one free bezier tool and make a mask just like that here you can change the frame size maybe 10 percent so that we can mask out in the outside and again you need to mask out the light just like that completed now you can turn on the visibility of the second track click here and then select the top track and just expand the feather from here maybe 30 percent make it fit and then if i play it back you will see the microphone and the light has gone hey what is up guys this is james and welcome to another adobe premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can use masking technique in adobe premiere the microphone and light are still there if i disable this layer you can see the microphone and the light is still there but we have used a mask if i disable the second track and enable the first track then you can see we have used this portion and this portion to hide in the microphone and light right so that's it that is how you can use masking technique in adobe premiere pro to remove certain things from your video sometimes you need to keep your microphone closer to your mouth so that it sounds better sometimes you need to place the light closer to your talent right so that it looks better but afterwards you need to remove those things how you can do that you can do that using the masking technique or you can use this technique to make a duplicate copy of yourself so that it looks good so that it looks funny or you can use in creative way on your short film so that is all that is how you can use masking technique i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video or learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye